Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Shanmat. In this session, we will discuss about another topic related to shell script, where we will cover two more variable that we can use in order to fetch information related to home directory and language. Now, what is language? Language is nothing but a uh, you can say custom setting that will provide some information related to the system languages. Okay. So for that, we will use two type of variable that is again set by the shell script. Now the variables are home and lang lang. So in this session, mainly we are going to discuss how we can use those variable, what all value we can fetch through it, and what is the meaning of the value that we are fetching from it. Okay. Apart from this, I'll show you how we can create a script. that can uh, fetch and print the value uh, the fetching is quite simple because we this is the system default value so it automatically comes and for printing we will use echo so i will show you one script that i have already created and there i will uh, show you both the ways so firstly we will talk about the home variable and then later on we will discuss about the lang variable clear and once every scenario is clear to us theoretically and practically then at last we will discuss how we can use cl program in order to uh, execute the same shell script okay so let me show you the thing firstly i'm going to hit one command here which is work lnk work lnk command is mainly used to uh, perform to uh, reach out to this screen which is work with object screen now if you look at here this is our home directory right but same thing if you want to fetch inside a shell script then how we can do this that thing we are going to discuss now okay so this is my home directory that means whenever i create any file or directory it will automatically create it in this location if i am not providing any additional path clear fine so now we are in work with object link screen i will look for my directory where i always keep all my files so this is the directory i'm taking option 5 here inside this there is one shell script remember one thing this shell script as a executable file okay so whatever we have uh, right whatever we can write here will be executable and if you don't know wh what is uh, if you don't know what is uh, the uh, how we can make the shell script executable then i requ recommend you to go and check out the previous session because there we have already uh, covered all these basic things like how to uh, all the basic thing like how to make the file executable basically there is one uh, command that we can use in order to make the shell script executable okay so for now you can just understand that this file is already executable and to make the file executable you can check out the previous session now i am going to take option 2 here in order to edit this so let me remove these things so that i can show you these all again from scratch what i have written here and here in the shell script you can see i have noted down uh, one multi line command so this is the way through which we can add the multi line command in shell script okay so in multi line command you can see uh, we have noted down the presented by name which is structure myth then session which is variable set by qsh okay fine now we will talk about the first variable which is set by qsh home so for that i'll simply write here echo then quote double quote then here i can write home variable value okay remember one thing this is not always a mandatory thing that you have to write everything Uh, as a text before fetching the value make sure okay this is just for the demo purpose i am going to show you that's why i have noted out this in this way and here i will write dollar and my variable name which is home now again there is one very important thing whenever you are using any system variable name always make sure that you put it in a capital letters because if you are not put it in a capital letter it will not return any result so this is very important thing that always make sure that whatever variable name you are writing doesn't matter that it is a home or lang or any other variable you should always keep it in a capital letters otherwise it will not return any output i'll show you that also okay so what we have noted down so far 
we have just write echo then home variable value and after colon we have put the variable which is slash uh, dollar home and we know that in shell script whenever we want to access the variable name variable value we use dollar symbol clear now you can look at this part because this part we will need to run this script through shell script uh, qsh okay so just remember this part slash home slash shermit slash tech shermit slash shermit dot sh so now i'll simply press f3 for save and exit for now we are just discussing about home variable i'll also tell you the length variable so now what i will do i will go to my session b here we will write qsh now why we are writing qsh qsh is mainly used in order to open the qshell terminal so once i write qsh and enter it will open the qshell command entry screen now, now on this qshell command entry screen we can run any executable file okay so uh, as my file is already executable i have made it executable that's why i can directly run this file so i'll just write slash home slash shermet slash tech shermet and then slash shermet dot sh after this you can simply press enter and after pressing enter you can see it is returning the value as home variable value is slash home slash shermet now what are the advantage of this thing whenever there is a need to find out which is my home directory then you can simply create one simple script and then you can run this thing okay although there is other ways also to identify this thing but if you are interested to find out with the help of shell script only then you can use this variable which is dollar home fine now one more thing i want to show you as i mentioned that you should always keep it in a capital letters because let me show you if i make it a small home okay the word is same but we have just changed the case so in that case if i press f3 and f3 again it will be saved and now if i run this script again you will find that it will not return anything why because we have changed the script right so slash home slash shermet slash tech shermet then shermet dot sh and then enter so after pressing enter you can see this time it is not returning any output and the reason is because we are using the capital small letters so this is recom this is uh, mandatory for all variable we should always use capital letters okay then i'm just going to copy this again and this time okay let's don't copy it rewrite the thing because i have to rewrite everything again so this time we will talk about the home vari uh, lang variable so for that you can simply write echo then lang or you can simply write lang variable value then colon and after colon you can write dollar l a n g so let's see what all value it returns i am pressing f3 for save and second time f3 for exit we'll go to session b and here i'll write the script again script path not the script okay this is the path for executing the script file so slash home then slash shermet then slash tech shermet then shermet dot sh and enter so this time you can see it is providing both values which is home variable value is slash home slash shermet and uh, second value is slash qsys dot lib slash en underscore us dot local so what it means the first part is indicating the library and this is a language which is english us local okay this part is library and this part is language so this is exactly what we get through these two variable home and lang so these are the script related thing now i'll quickly show you how we can run the uh, same thing through cl program so for that i'll simply write here work mbr pdm this is the program that i have already created Le although we have discussed this thing many times so i'll just quickly go through it so simply write dcl take f4 provide variable name type storage and length then use csgv take f4 provide variable name and the script of the file which is slash home shermit tech shermit shermit dot sh and then strqsh take f4 provide variable name and it will execute your script file clear so let's try to compile it and see the output so you can see it is providing the expected output which is home value and lang variable 
so yeah these are the all steps that we are supposed to follow in order to fetch the information related to home and length i hope this session is clear to all of you in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching texture method